Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, watch the breath all the way out. The breath is the safest of all meditation objects, because after all, it is the force of life within you. When you focus on the breath, you try to make it still, make it comfortable, make it nourishing in the body. Still sometimes, deep sometimes, there are many ways you can breathe. and You can pay attention to what your body needs and give it the kind of breathing it needs. The way the body benefits and then your mind benefits as well. It's a better place to stay in the present moment. The important thing is that you pay careful attention to what you're doing. And this has helped a lot if you have conviction in what you're doing. In other words, you believe this is actually going to amount to something. Conviction is one of the principles of the Buddha said really does work to our advantage. Of course, it means conviction in the right kind of things. Here it means conviction in the principle of action, is that we are responsible for our actions, and our actions really do have an impact on our lives and on the lives of the people around us. And that, I, that impact can go on for a long time, like ripples in a pond. If the water is very still, you put a stone in one part of the pond, and ripples can go all the way across the pond. Our actions have that kind of influence right now and on into the future. So it only makes sense that you want to train your mind, because actions come out of the mind. If you don't believe that the mind has responsibility for its actions, you get, tend to get very careless. And we know what happens to people who get careless. Or you get apathetic. Apathetic people don't do well in life. You have to have a sense of conviction okay, that your actions really do matter, and you want to act as skillfully as possible. To do that, you need to develop your qualities of mindfulness and alertness and your ardency in wanting to be skillful and putting your whole heart into it. That's what the conviction helps with. Otherwise, your conviction, as John Lee used to say, is like the head of a turtle. Sometimes it comes out, sometimes it disappears. You like to have the idea that your actions have an impact when you're doing something you know is skillful, and when you do something you know is unskillful, you would say, well, maybe actions don't have an impact after all. The turtle head has slipped back into the shell. What you want is a head that you can depend on, your head up here. It's always there. It always has to think about what you're going to do and what, what the consequences are going to be. You put some in, input into that. In other words, make sure you are very careful in training your mind so you are mindful. You can remember the lessons you learned from the past, and then you're alert to apply them to what you're doing right now. And you do this with ardency, a sense of conviction that this really will amount to something, the training of the mind. Because these skills of mindfulness and alertness, ardency, they transfer over into other aspects of your life as well. So you want to strengthen them. Because it is possible to rest with just by going to sleep, but it doesn't strengthen the good qualities of the mind. It just gives you a little bit of rest and then you're back to where you were before. But when you strengthen these qualities, the mind gets a sense of stillness at the same time that it's developing the skills it needs in order to deal with whatever situations come up. Because there's a lot in the future that you don't know what it's going to happen, you can't anticipate. Some problems you can anticipate, some you can't. But you do know that you're going to need mindfulness and alertness, concentration, discernment, all these other good qualities to deal with whatever comes up, especially the things that surprise you. So you can think on your feet, and you have the circumspection to think twice and not just act or react once. So put some conviction into your practice that this really will amount to something, that your actions do shape your life, and your actions come from your mind, so you want to train your mind to be the kind of mind that you can rely on. And that way you gain some conviction not only in the practice or in the principle of the karma, but also gain some conviction in yourself that you are capable of doing this, and you can turn yourself into someone that you can really depend on, even when the going gets tough. <laughs>